Would you rather be a guard or a prisoner? Prisoner, I guess. Prisoner. Sounds like it would be a little less work. Prisoner. Why's that? Nobody likes guards. Heads again. He's a prisoner. Okay, so the last one's a guard. From this point forward, you should never refer to this as a study or an experiment again. A very well-educated man working at what is obviously a reputable institution doing some pretty precarious scholarly work. Rule number one, prisoners must remain silent. What surprised me the most was the dramatic transition from day one where nothing was happening and I was about to terminate the study to the morning of day two where suddenly everything erupted like a volcano. Look at this guy. I think he's John Wayne or something. <laughs> the only thing that I said, you cannot use physical force. You cannot hit prisoners with your billy club. And so the guards automatically shifted. They're going to now use psychological force, humiliation, degradation, which in the long run is worse. All right, gentlemen, we're going to have ourselves a lot of fun. What is so remarkable about it is this is an experiment that was done in 1971, and here we are later. And it's more relevant now than it's ever been. Are these guys taking this thing a bit too seriously? Uh, yeah. Why don't you make up your bunk, 8612? I did, Mr. Correctional Officer. Well, that's not what I see. Hey, what are you doing here? Just make that! Each day, things were only slightly worse than the previous day. So I didn't realize that I was allowing things I should not have allowed. This study has the potential to help people. Yes, felons, maybe, but those are kids. If you take even the briefest look at how we organize our structure, our prisons. 3401, 7258, 819. It's really clear that betterment isn't possible. We all want to believe in the power of free will, that our decisions come from within in some magical way, that we choose our destiny and we, we take it. And it says, no, no, you put really good people in a really bad place, and the goodness of the people crumbles against the power of the place. <laughs>